Ladies and gentlemen, I need to explain something to you. Today the Chicago Bears played the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and what was the final score? 48 to 10? What did I predict the score was going to be? 52 to nothing. And nobody thought I was going to be that close, did ya? Oh, that game was so good. The Chicago Bears doing everything just the way I thought they were going to do it. Khalil Mack all over the place. The entire defense all over the place. Tearing them apart. Mitchell Trubinsky, what did I tell everybody? Was ready to write him off. I was listening to 670 to score radio. All week everyone's talking about, oh, Trubinsky, is he going to turn out to be a bust? Did we waste a first round draft pick on Trebinsky? And what happened? Trebinsky came up and did exactly what I said he was gonna do. He won the game for the Chicago Bears. The Bears, the Bears, that's who won the game. Again, just like I said they would. I understand. I understand perfectly what's going on because I'm already talking about the Bears going to the Super Bowl. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. But let me tell you something. The only reason people don't want to get excited about the Bears this year is because they're they're worried. Oh, I'm going to get all excited about it. And I'm going to fall in love with football again. And then they're going to let me down. But here's one thing I learned about the Bears after all these years. No matter what, no matter what their record is for the year, there's always something worth watching the Bears to see. In the old days... When they were losing, they still had Dick Buckus. When they were losing just in the 90s or the early 2000s, whatever. I don't even know what I'm talking about because I'm so excited. My brain isn't working right because this victory got me so... Wah, I love it. In the 2000s. Devin Hester returning to all the kicks for touchdowns all the time. There's always something in the 80s. Even if they were losing, you could watch Walter Payton. You could drop my computer and break it. Whatever it takes. Remind me never to do that again. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Alright, so hopefully I didn't break this thing. Um, obviously I'm going to pause for a minute because this could be an emergency. Hold on. Alright guys, so we're doing a couple takes on this one because I uh, screwed up earlier. I was... I had my computer over here and my laptop and I moved my arm like this and I hit it and the whole thing fell over and cracked and that wasn't good. So hopefully that's not going to be too much of a problem. So let's get back to what I was saying. Today the Chicago Bears won the game again. 48-10. to 10, Unbelievable victory. They looked so good. So good. The Bears. Oh, this is what I was telling you. So I understand what's happening. People don't want to get all excited about the Bears and then get let down. But you got to remember, there's always something worth looking at the Bears to watch. There's always a reason to watch the Bears. In the early 20th century, so far we had that, uh, you know, Devin Hester running all the things back and getting uh, kick, running the kicks back for the touchdowns all the time. And then uh, before that we had uh, Brian Urlacher, of course, was always fun to watch. Before that you had Walter Payton. And before that, yeah, Dick Buckus, there's always a reason to watch the Bears. Even when they're not having a good record or a good year, there's somebody that's good to look at, you know, to have fun watching the game. So, I'm having fun watching all the Bears games, especially this year. I picked the right year to start making these videos. Again, shout out to Ghost of Judah Tribe. He's been doing real good. All of us Bears fans are doing real good this year because we got a lot to be excited about. Uh, we got a bye week coming up, so I'm going to... I'm not going to take the week off. I'm going to be doing some stuff. You're going to see a lot of the other types of videos I've been talking about. I'm going to have time to get around to doing some of that other stuff now. So we're going to have a lot of fun. 
I'm gonna be eating a lot of pork chops, a lot of hot dogs, a lot of polar sausage, kielbasa, the whole thing. It's gonna be real good. And uh, that's it. I'm gonna come back pretty soon with my predictions and a couple other surprises during the bye week. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Bear down. Yeah, I told you that the, the defense over there in uh, you know Tampa Bay was like uh, tissue paper. So what? That doesn't mean we didn't beat them. We stopped them from scoring a lot too. You know, they're supposed to have this uh, number one offense. Well, not uh, against our number awesome defense. The Bears. The team. Who's the best team ever? The Bears. The Bears. The Bears. Friday.